Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Scorpio, if you would before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on that link in the description box if you are interested. Scorpio, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community, and know that you will always see my face in a reading, as well as receive an unlisted link. Wow, that'll be yours to utilize forever as long as you wish. So don't forget to comment and hit the notification bell. Your overall energy, this is interesting, is five of cups, okay? You have the hermit, shaman, the medicine healer, the emperor, and the ten of cups. So you literally go from the five of cups to the ten of cups. I feel like there's this energy of sadness over love, over, it's, they're saying disparity, sadness, loneliness, they're saying, and it, somber, go ahead. Okay, you're thinking about some sort of rift between you and somebody else. And this is what brings this on. I don't know if somebody triggers this moment from the past or something. Okay, so this takes you into hermit mode. But I, I feel like something within you, you heal yourself. I feel like this shaman, the medicine healer, is actually you. And this allows you to take control of your destiny here and it leads you to the ten of cups so let's see five of cups judgment so some of you could be thinking about reuniting but this can also be saying that through this healing it's like through this sadness is a rebirth so the, there's a purpose to this there could be a decision with the two of pentacles here that you need to make Queen of Pentacles. This could be about an earth sign, specifically a Capricorn. I'm hearing fire as well. Hmm. So, like many other Scorpio, apparently, tonight, it's almost like I, I feel like every single sign had a choice between the past and the present. So, just be aware of that. And that may also be why uh, this Five of Cups is triggered. Oh, let me get a kipper. Let's get a kipper on this. And five of Cups. Wealthy man. So this could have to do the sadness with somebody who is very abundant in nature here. So it could be... Hmm. Between this wealthy man and, I don't know, who's the other individual? It could be the Queen of Pentacles. It could be a Capricorn. All right, so tell me about the Hermit energy. Tell me about the Hermit energy. Six of Cups. Yeah, say Six of Cups. Somebody from the past here. Strength and Temperance. So you're thinking about reuniting or somebody's coming back to reunite with you. So you're going within to think about this. You're needing strength. You want to find balance before you make this decision, right? The six of cups is somebody from the past here. Or this wealthy man could be from the present. It could be somebody from the past. And then the wealthy man is from the present. Take that how it resonates. Or you could be the wealthy man. Just masculine energy. You can totally be a female. Toil and labor. Hmm. 
main female. So one of these people could be somebody at work or that you've worked with in the past. Can I have one more? You're putting a lot of work into somebody's coming back with a gift. This person from the past is coming back, gifting you with something. It could even be a proposal here. That's what I'm feeling. All right, tell me about shaman and medicine healer. We have the king of wands. Ooh, there's that fire, see? They said fire when the earth came out. So it could be between earth and fire. Or that's just predominant within their chart, earth and fire. Earth on one, fire on another. So you get the sacred heart and the eight of swords. You're all up in your head about this. The king of wands. So you're healing your heart space and you're figuring out how to stand in your power, how to know what you want, looking at what you want, what it is that you desire to make this decision moving forward. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, childhood work. You're doing inner child work. And you're healing it. And I don't think this is like the original plan. Yeah, see? You're raising your vibration. I don't and it never is, really. <laughs> you're you're sad about something, you you go in to heal it, and then it takes you somewhere where you didn't even know you would get to. So this, however, is raising your vibration and it's clearing the way for this ten of cups. But First, it's clearing the way for this emperor. And I feel like this emperor energy is like standing strong in your direction. The chariot, see? You know where you're going. After this healing, you know where you're going. The wheel starts turning. And the shadow dream catcher. You begin forward movement. After you do this healing, you raise your vibration. And you're like, okay, I know what I want. So you're picking one. You're choosing one, but first you're doing this healing, despair. It's not going to be overnight, I can tell you that. Expectation and journey. Wow, you're you're like look, you're going through all sorts of um, emotions. You're going through the gamut here. You're going through what you expect, what they expect where your journey is taking you, where your emotional fulfillment lies. You may also be looking at the community cards at the bottom of the deck, what other people are thinking. So clarifying the Ten of Cups, we have the Seven of Wands, the Determined Otter. <laughs> See, the Choice card, the Lovers, and the Two of Wands. So somebody's moving either you're moving for you're moving or they're moving towards you because you get the chariot and the two of wands somebody's moving you're making a choice you're seeing the forest through the trees here and you know exactly where you want to go and who you want to go with well change you're wanting change I don't think you're going to go for the past. I think you're wanting new, you're wanting change, and you're pretty sure about it. With the Emperor energy, you're pretty sure about this forward movement. And I like this surety because of this healing. I feel like it was needed. I feel like this past person came back for a purpose and triggered this. So you should appreciate this. Appreciate the trigger. <laughs> really. And it's interesting because people that come back like that or, you know, or we see as tower moments in our life, they have no clue how helpful they are to our journey. They just have no clue. But really, they always are. So appreciate it. All right. The sacred fire, the rebirthing bonfire and the seven of cups. So they're saying purify your energy. Keep doing this healing. Keep dreaming. And make sure that you're looking at all your options. Yeah. Look at all of your options, what you have available to you, every potential option, and look at your desires and what it is that you want. 
they don't want you to let anything go by the wayside because this is your future, right? This is, this is who you want to go off on your journey with. This is who you want this change with. It's time for change and you want it with a new person. All right. So let's get an advice card, Scorpio memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are rising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. So if you're feeling stuck, when you're in despair, call on your loved ones that have passed over. They can help guide you through this, okay? Use them. Tell them, give them permission to, you know, interfere and intercede on your behalf to help guide you through the process here. Your angel number is 222. I am balanced. And that's what you're seeking. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. All right, Scorpio. I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info is down in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on that link in the description box if you are interested as there are many tarot card, inter um, tarot card impersonators running about the tarot card community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link to your reading uh don't forget to comment and hit the notification bell and you have a great day i'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies namaste